Hello and welcome back to the PDF Element channel. My name is George. Today we're going to learn how to transfer our PDFs from our Mac to our iPhone without using iCloud. Doing it this way means you'll never be restricted by iCloud limits ever again. Sounds good, right? Stay with me to the end of this video and you'll learn everything you need to know to be able to handle your PDFs like a pro. Welcome back to the PDF Element channel. iCloud is a very good online storage service, but its real purpose is actually for backing up and not transferring documents. With iCloud, you get a very small amount of free space, but it quickly becomes expensive to be able to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, it's quite difficult to just transfer a file from your Mac to your iPhone. But then what is the best way to do this? And how else can we do it using a PC transferring it to an iPhone as well? So in this video, we're gonna talk about a great alternative for transferring your PDFs between either your Mac or your PC to your iPhone or your iPad. And we're going to do this using PDF Element so that you can easily transfer your PDFs from any device using a Mac or a PC to any iPhone device. In this video, we're going to cover uploading our local files, connecting your iPhone or iPad to the cloud, and how to transfer your files from your computer to your mobile device. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure you have PDF Element downloaded. If you don't have it downloaded already, go check out the link in the description below to get it downloaded for your device. Number one, upload local files. Once you have PDF Element installed, I will show you how to use the document cloud feature so that we can easily share our files. First, we're going to do this from your PC to your iPhone, but don't worry if you're a Mac user, just wait till the next section. First of all, you have to upload your files to Wondershare Cloud. The first step is to open PDF Element and click the document cloud section. Log in to access document cloud files. Type your email address and password to log in. If you don't have an account, you can create one. I recommend you continue using Google, Facebook, or Twitter accounts so you can access them in a much simpler way. Now you can enjoy and upload one gigabyte of content free with the Wondershare Cloud free version. Now click the cloud button on the upper right part of your screen. In this section, you can hover and select the files you want to upload to the cloud. A dialog box will be displayed. You can edit the file name and finally you click on the upload button to save the file to document cloud. You can also upload documents you have worked on recently. Just go to the recent file section and click the three dots next to the name of the PDF, then select the upload to cloud option. Wait for a few moments and your PDF will be stored on Wondershare document cloud. To confirm, go to the document cloud section. Here you should see your PDF already uploaded. If you're a Mac user, the process is very similar in Windows and also very simple. You can go directly to the document cloud section and drag and drop the files you want to transfer or click on the upload file and choose the PDF you want. If everything goes okay, you'll notice over in the document cloud section that we can see your file or files that you've uploaded. They'll all be visible right here. This was pretty simple, right? Well, we're almost done. Let's talk about the mobiles. Number two, connecting your iPhone or your iPad to iCloud. For this process, of course, you will need your iPhone or iPad. So to use all the documents you have previously uploaded to the cloud, just open PDF element on your iPhone or iPad and sign in. After that, go to the connection section and tap document cloud so that you can see and access all your PDFs stored in document cloud. To open a document, you just have to tap on the PDF of your choice. You can immediately open and edit it thanks to the tools that the mobile version of PDF element has to offer. Interesting, right? But what if you want to transfer any of these document cloud files to your iPhone or your iPad? Well, let me show you what to do. Number three, how to transfer your document files from your computer to your iPhone or your iPad. If you just want to transfer so you can access them later, even without an internet connection, well, don't worry. With PDF Element, you can easily transfer your PDF files to your iPhone from Mac or PC without using iTunes or any other Apple software. Let's show you how. First, make sure your iPhone is connected to the document cloud. Then go to the document cloud section, and open your PDF file. Click the three dots on the upper right part of your screen and from the drop down list select save a copy if you're a free user tap save with watermark and if you're a pro user just skip this step in this section tap save to select download to save the file on your device to confirm that your document has been transferred to your iphone or ipad tap the downloads icon on the home screen in the download section you will see your pdf file now it has been transferred to your device and you can open it without being connected to the internet. And that's it. You have finished this task so easily. Did you see just how simple it was to transfer your PDF files from your computer or your Mac to your iPhone or iPad? And best of all, none of this requires iTunes or using iCloud. If you've got the new iPhone 14 or you're about to get one, you might have doubts about whether or not Wondershare Document Cloud is going to work with the new iOS 16. Well, don't worry, it's fully compatible. It's becoming a nearly everyday practice to transfer PDFs to mobile devices. And using this method, you now know everything you need to know to get your PDFs from your PC or your Mac to your mobile device with a couple of simple steps. And that's it, you're becoming much more confident using Wondershare Document Cloud. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And stay tuned as we bring you many more useful tips such as how to store and sync PDFs using Apple Books and how to edit PDFs between your phone and your desktop.
See you in the next video.